I am very excited about today's video. Uh, this is a big box of goodies that was sent to me by Evangeline Dominic. This is the second package she has sent me. Um, we did a video in the past where she sent me a really amazing package of stuff, uh, which included the best laptop I've ever owned, which I still need to make a video of, and I am so sorry for not getting to making a video of that laptop yet. But uh, she sent me another box of stuff, and I think this is going to be... I, I know... I know a couple of things that are going to be in this. I only knew of one initially, and then when I got the box today, on the label which is facing me here, it actually says laptop in the description. So presumably I know of two things that are in this box, and one of them is a laptop. Ooh. I'm, uh, anyway, I'm super excited, so let's just dig right into it. I am hand holding the microphone, but. I'm going to have to put it down somewhere here, somewhere reasonable, where you can hear me. Okay, clearly well packed. Ooh, what's... <gasps> a mini disc! Ooh, there's a mini disc player in here! Oh my god, that's so exciting! I forgot, I, I actually kind of forgot that we talked about that a long time ago. Oh my gosh, so presumably there's also a mini disc player in here. Look at that! A Fuji mini disc. Brand new in the shrink wrap. Oh my god, that is so exciting. Oh, now I'm really excited. <laughs> Ooh, is this it? Oh, there's two mini disc players in here. No! Oh my god, two mini disc players. They are similar but not identical. One is a model MZN505, it's a NetMD. And the other is a MZN510, which is also a NetMD. Oh my god, this is so cool. Thank you so much. I have always wanted to get into mini disc. In fact, when I was in high school and I decided I wanted to get a digital audio recorder for university, I almost bought a high MD recorder. Um, but I, I never did because uh, they, they were just so expensive. They had been recently discontinued by Sony and they the prices were just shooting up on eBay like 200, 300, 400 dollars for a high MD recorder. Although in retrospect, it's actually probably a good thing I didn't get one because as it turned out, those high MD recorders uh were kind of fragile and today, 10 years later, they apparently have not withstood the test of time. Now I see many broken ones on eBay. Um by the way, what I did end up buying was the Olympus LS7, which, uh, 10 years later, is still working incredibly well. Definitely one of the best uh, new tech purchases I ever made. But two NetMD... Oh, and these both record! These are recorders! I wasn't sure if they, j if, uh, they were playback and you had to hook them to a computer to put files on them. But no, these also record! Now, of course... Uh, High MD, you could record PCM audio. That's not the case with NetMD, but who cares these days? That's so cool! Oh my god, is there, is, uh, is there any discs in them? No disc in that one. 
takes a double A battery. What about this one? Nope, no disc in this one, and I assume this also takes a double A battery. Excellent! That's the oh, that I'm so excited. <laughs> I've always wanted to get in the mini disc. Thank you, Ava. All right. Let's move on. I'm going to have to apologize in advance. I forget that my microphone is right there and I'm probably rubbing uh I'm probably rubbing uh bubble wrap all over it. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, that's, that encompasses everything else, apparently. Except this, which appears to be a laptop charger. Ooh, it is an IBM laptop charger. That gives you an idea. An old school IBM ThinkPad charger. So let's see what lies in here. I suppose I can get the box out of here. Ah, yes. And here's one of the other things. Take a look at this. It's an Optimus SA155 stereo amplifier. Remember just recently I made the video of the realistic Minmus 7 speakers? and fixing the one with a blown woofer. They're both still sitting right up there. And I mentioned maybe I could integrate them into a computer setup. Well, uh, Ava was listening very closely apparently because uh, she did tell me that she was gonna send me what is quite literally the most perfect thing that I could need to interface those speakers with my computer setup. This is awesome. This is a integrated stereo amplifier. It's uh, these are neat little units. Uh, the Optimus SA155 was the successor to the realistic SA150. Pretty much the same thing. This one just has you know more modern aesthetics to it. Uh, 1.6 watts per channel, which is perfectly fine for this sort of application. And it's got a headphone output. And it's got tone and balance controls. It's also got a phono input, which what lets you select either ceramic or magnetic input, which is pretty sweet. My uh, realistic uh, STA300 stereo amplifier, which I use in the white trash hi-fi system, which I still have to make a video of, that doesn't even give you the choice of ceramic or magnetic. It's just magnetic, but this actually gives you both, despite being a much smaller and simpler amplifier. And it's got a line out on the back, and it's got a line in. Uh, it's actually got two, two, two line ins, two line ins, phono in, line out, and then your speaker out. So yeah, this is going to be incorporated into my computer setup, and I'm going to use those Minma Seven speakers for my computer. They're going to replace the uh, speakers on my built-in monitor, which. I've been totally satisfied with, but I think I'm going to be way more satisfied with some uh, nice vintage bookshelf speakers for my computer. And uh, this is going to make that happen, so I'm very excited. Thank you, Ava. And then finally... At least I assume finally... Boy, she wrapped it to uh, survive the trip, that's for sure. Wow, there it is. This is an IBM ThinkPad. Uh, I forget 
what model? It's a T40, an IBM ThinkPad T40. This is the first IBM branded ThinkPad I've ever had. I've had four Lenovo branded ThinkPads. This is my first IBM T40, so it's got the Pentium M. So this is like a 2004-ish model. And she sent this to me because for years I've been wanting a laptop suitable for Windows 98. There has been a decade-long void in my computer collection since I lost the Acer Extensa 501DX that I had in high school. Not lost it, but lost it as in it quit working. Um, and so she has sent me this to fill this void. Now 2004, this is pretty damn new to run Windows 98. It's a Pentium M. How could this thing possibly run Windows 98 properly? Well, IBM actually officially supported Windows 98 on this. And Ava sent me a big 250 megabyte zip file, which I assume has all the drivers for this thing. I haven't looked yet. I assume has all the Windows 98 drivers for it. So this should run Windows 98 just fine. I don't know if it already has an operating system installed. I don't know if it's even got a hard drive in it. Wow, an old school ThinkPad. It's still got the original Windows XP uh, license key on it. It's got a CDRW and DVD-ROM drive in the Ultra Bay. Let's take a look at everything in closer detail. So we've got the Optimus SA-155 stereo amplifier, two Sony NetMD Walkmans with a brand new shrink-wrapped Fuji mini disc. and an IBM ThinkPad T40. Let's unwrap this mini disc on video. I'll give you guys the satisfaction of that anyway. What's it say here? New super durable disc gives clear and dynamic digital sound. Made in Japan. And there's a black sticker covering what I guess is the UPC. Must have come in a pack. 74 minutes recording time. Let's unwrap it. I wonder if this will be a uh, specific color or uh, if it'll just be black or whatever. Nice. What a good looking disc. That is lovely. Precautions for use. This disc is for use on an mini disc <laughs> recorder or player. And there's what the uh, stickers look like that you can put on the disc. And this is Flo from the future, five hours later, editing this video, and I just realized that I left something in the box. Another mini disc! A Sony! Let's unwrap this one. It's a good thing I uh, noticed this before I threw away the box. So we got a Sony mini disc, 74 minutes. Ruby Red color collection. So this is a red disc. I bet this looks very nice. Sapphire blue, ruby red, topaz yellow, emerald green, onyx black. Now I want to connect, collect them all. Made in Japan. 
Oh, it's supposed to open this way. <laughs> That looks bonanza. That's such a deep red. Oh, that is cool. That is such a beautiful disc. That's excellent. And then, uh comes with the stickers to put on it very cool thank you Ava for two mini discs well my goodness that is way more than I could have hoped for thank you so much Ava I, I don't I don't deserve all this stuff but I'm I'm really thankful for it that's for sure what a nice beautiful gift. I am gonna have, I'm gonna get so much enjoyment out of all of these. I can't wait to start tinkering with it tonight. But I'm not going to leave Ava with a simple thanks. Um, way back when we first discussed this stuff back in the day, I uh, offered something to her that she uh, has very gladly accepted and now I'm going to uh, send it off to her, which means I need to get off my butt and finally make a video of it. Uh, and the item in question is this. Yeah, I bet some of you are wondering where the hell I pulled this out of my ass. <laughs> I've had this for uh, I've had this for months and just haven't gotten around to making a video of it. But now I gotta do that, cause this is going off to, uh, to Ava. I don't use it enough, and she's been really excited to dig into something like this. And so it's gonna go to her. So video of this in the near future. And video is, videos of all this stuff to come too. Uh, wow, just what a really generous gift. I can't thank her enough. Um, but that's it for now. Uh, that, that, that ends it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, a big thanks to these guys right here who support me via Patreon. And a really big final thanks to Evangeline Dominic, who uh, is a good, good friend of mine, friend of the channel, and uh, really generous for sending me this stuff. So thank you so much. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.